Hi, welcome to Sunny's, the Car Wash Factory. I'm Bob Fox with Car Wash College. Today we're going to change out one of our drive blocks on this unit. There's two different types of drive blocks on a side blaster. There's either a wheel blaster or a side blaster unit. Today we're going to take out the side blaster unit we have on there and put in a wheel blaster unit. Before we start, make sure to get a copy of the owner's manual, which you can download at sunnysdirect.com. Review all the safety information related to this procedure. Next, gather the tools and supplies you'll need, which are safety glasses, a 916 socket with a small extension, a 916 wrench, a Sharpie, and a pair of pliers. Now, let's get started. As with any maintenance that we do, the first thing we want to do is make sure that we did the lockout tag out. In this case, we're going to lock out the pump station, and we're also going to lock out the power pack. So what we're going to do today is we're going to change this existing drive block from a side blaster unit into a wheel blaster unit. I'm going to bring in Vic, and he's going to do the repair. First thing he's going to do is take a Sharpie and mark where the manifold is currently so that we reassemble it. We still have the same range of motion that we're looking for. Then he's going to take a 19, 9 16 wrench at the bottom. He's going to hold the nut. He's going to loosen and remove the 9 16 bolt with his socket wrench. Next step is to remove the clamp from the manifold and he'll leave it hanging. Then he'll remove the cotter pin that connects the drive arm to the drive block. That's where the pliers come in. And he'll slide the drive arm out of the block. Hopefully he didn't go to trench. Now with the 916 wrench, he's going to hold the nut on the drive block. Loosen it and remove the bolt with the socket. Then he wants to very carefully remove the slide block out, making sure we don't lose the key stock from the motor. Now we're going to take the new drive block, which is our wheel blaster block, and we're going to slide the new drive block on the motor shaft. The important thing we want to make sure here is not to create a collision point between the motor bolts and the blockhead. With his wrench and socket, he's going to tighten the bolt and the nut. Then he's going to slide the drive arm all the way back onto the drive block shaft. Secure the drive arm with the cotter pin again. Then follow the marks on a manifold, he'll attach the two sections of the clamp with the 916 bolts and nuts. He's going to tighten that down pretty good, but we don't want to over torque it. Make sure the manifold is realigned and then make his final tightening. And there you have it. When it comes time to do maintenance on your drive blocks on your Omni, just follow these simple steps and be through it in no time. Keeping up with this and all preventative maintenance at the car wash helps eliminate unscheduled downtime and ensure you're delivering a consistent experience that will make raving fans of your customers. Thanks for watching. For more frequently asked car wash maintenance questions, visit us at sundaysdirect.com forward slash FAQ. I hope to see you in the car wash college classroom real soon. And as always, good luck and good washing.